about what you're saying by the grace of God. Once we graduate and we start any salary, I'll bring more. I want to use this to let you understand that I have not forgotten where I came from. And I will never forget this orphanage as long as I'm alive. <laughs> so, uh, Metron, please accept this little token <laughs> with all these items here. All this for us? Yes. Okay. Use it to take care of these children the way you took care of me. More will come by the time we start working. God, I thank you. Yeah. All the. Hey! Oh, Shuka. Your pockets will never dry. Amen. God must bless you. Amen. Abundantly. Amen. Anything you lay your hands, you must prosper. Amen. Hey! Your enemy will never see you. Amen. Amen. Hey! Amen. All these things for us. And more will come. Hey! Oh, my God, I'm not your son. Yeah! Oh, my God, I'm not your son. Oh, my God, I'm not your son. Well, uh, Metron, um, hey. I Thank you. we don't have much time, but before I leave, one more thing. These pictures, how familiar are the faces to you? Hmm. Yes, I recognize them. They are those behind the cleaning of your parents. This is a uh, Eze Onyema. He hijacked the throne which was meant for your father. Oh no. And here is Zono, who's supposed to crown your father. He deceived him to kill him in order to ascend the throne. And you begin so you were right. I told you. This is what I told you. Um, Metron, one more thing. The land where Romazini Company was built. What do you know about it? These same persons leased the hectares of land to the white men for 35 good years, I think. And from what you know, who is the actual owner of the land? Hmm? Has midwife not told you? Your father, of course. Oh. Let me have the pictures. Hey. Where are you going? Look at What's the meaning of this invasion? We have come to evacuate you from my father's land for illegal occupancy. That sounds quite strange and unbelievable. How can that be? into that land in the first place. Answer me. The owners gave it to us on that five years lease. The owners? And who are the real owners? Answer me! Oh no, and His Majesty. They gave it to us on an agreement that allocations shall be given to the less privileged ones on monthly basis. How long have you, or how far have you gone in meeting up with the treaty? Uh, 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 up, up to date, I've not failed to comply. But, 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 but r rumor has it that they are embezzling the funds. Mr. Balusi, henceforth, you shall not set your foot on that land again. 
if we come back here and see a shadow locking around, <laughs> we will have no choice but to set the whole place ablaze. But do you understand? But don't but me! Please, huh? Please, huh? Please. Mr. Balusi, the transaction was illegal. The people that sold that land to you are nothing but trespassers. The real owner has come to take back what belongs to him. Do you understand? My, huh? My God. I'm confused here. What is happening? My father was the real owner of that land. He was killed because they wanted to hijack the land from him. But now, his son has grown up to possess his possessions. Okay! I will, I will, please. down to Kiwi and Jumbo. Everybody must be at a lot. Since they have arrived at the church cathedral and have even gone to the orphanage, the next port of call may be either my house or the palace of the Igwe. And if they insist on invading us, every one of us must fight with the last drop of his blood. Do we get it? Alamwaya Saba. and runs away must definitely come back another day to finish up the fight we have just started a fight you can run That will. You don't have any common sense, you know. Huh. God knows my hands are clean. I can never connect with Chuka to shed blood. You shut your mouth. 
wait until you do. But sign up comes out of the chapel. Then you will have to explain yourself before him. Ah. Ah. Good to see you. You're back. I mean, where is uh, Mosaino? I missed you all. I, 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 I missed you all. You walk at it. Sir, why did you do such violence on Ono and Ezra But who told you we, we attacked them? Akama Autonomous Community is a small one. And anything done within circulates in no time. You should have waited for me to return before launching your attack. Huh? But, sir, waiting for you could be relevant. Delay is dangerous, you know it. I hope there was no bloodshed of any sort. The Bible said, suffer the wicked not to leave. The Bible told you to, to kill? So you killed them because the Bible told you to kill them? But they killed first. Didn't stay. And so what? Vengeance is of the Lord. Did I not teach you that before you left for Kaduna? You did, sir. But I also read in the Bible that the kingdom of God suffered violence. And only the violent take it by force. So I believe God sometimes vindicates violence. Have you seen your handiwork there? Abigail, have you seen your handiwork there? <laughs> ah, Chuka of brutality. Musainu. Good evening, Musainu. You've done your wish. I allowed Tega to take you to Defense Academy for obvious reasons. But now, you've used the power of camouflage to waste lives. Who should have perished on their own? I, due to their own iniquity. Forgive me, Mosaino. Forgive me. You can rise. You can rise for the sacrament of penance. Thank you, Mosaino. Thank you, Mosaino. Captive might raise alarm to alert either the Musaino or Catechist to his rescue. Won't he be sleeping by now? Hmm. No one uh -huh. under the bondage of captivity sleeps. But he knows they can. Definitely. And I heard. Uncle Ekenna was once a member of the Igwe's cabinet. Yes. I'm afraid there will be danger. I'm going to bed. What? Who did this nonsense? Those, those, those boys must be terrorists. Huh? Katis, please, untie him, untie him! Quickly! Yes, what? Ah. Oh my god! Ah. Katis, do you know him? Uh, that, that was Odifa. One of those who hounded me out of Akama. Ah, no wonder. He was really trying to avoid you. You see, now you have saved his life. Huh? That's the world. Oh, Jesus. So they have released the bastard. Okay. He can go. He's not my major target. The runaway cowards are the men I am aiming to capture. And I must capture them and bring them to justice.
okay, it's okay. Hey, Toriru. You, you, you. Go and get the coffin. Let's go. always want to know everything between us. This is the only thing that makes you happy. Well, if you really want to know, he will soon be back. Very soon. He will be back soon. Anyway, I envy the both of you, you know. Love you, Tokyo. <laughs> so, what about your Simon? Simon? That one, he's only good in bed and after that he doesn't want to know if you're dying or living. What else do you want? At least you're satisfied. Satisfied? My dear, satisfaction is an understatement. Though I enjoy him a lot in bed, but my pocket is not satisfied. Well, my dear, you have to choose between your pocket and your heart, okay? As for me, I don't have a problem with you, Maybe I would like to make a little trick of yours. What for? Am I not your friend? Eh? Yes, don't you do that, okay? Don't you do that, okay? Your boss have come again, you know. This is me, Odefa. Give me the way you kill her, land. Go ahead and kill me. Go ahead and kill me. My family has deserted me. I have no other person to care for. Engineer, what do you want? Nothing else but their whereabouts. They are nowhere to be found all this while. Which whereabouts are you demanding? His Majesty and uh, the Sundra that comes himself, oh no. Where are they at the moment? But, but you see, you know how much I dread the sight of a gun. And yet you are visiting me for 
You want to give me hypertension? <laughs> this pistol is not meant for you if you comply. Comply in what way? To tell me the whereabouts of those men that defrauded the Romazini business empire in the name of leasing lands to us with fake documents. We have all gone. But I think your name should be at home by now. You can go and check for him. May God help you that I find him at home! my residential address and my phone number. Uh. If anything gets out of place, do not hesitate to contact me immediately. Okay. The culprits, Onima and Ono, have been banished from this land. <laughs> Engineer Valusi has been thrown out of that site. So in any case that you see any of their shadows lurking around this community. Do not hesitate to contact me immediately. Okay? I promise to do that. Okay. Sir John I promise to be a good fellow. Do cash. Take care of yourself. Uh what about uh, James? behind to lay surveillance on me. I don't want to die now. I can't go inside that house. Surprised to see me? Hey! Gina Valusi, what's this you are holding? Gina Valusi, don't be allowed to, don't, don't let yourself be used against me. His Royal Highness, His Royal Majesty of Akama Kingdom. Abba! Engineer Valusi, do not, do not allow them to use it against me. Don't want to hear all those things. Oh. Can you explain your reasons for playing a fast one on the Romazini business empire? The Ak Mafia dynasty of Venice and Sicily Palermo. Why? Engineer Valusi, remember. Remember, I am the one who gave you the chieftaincy title of Hope to be a one. Hope to be in cases of a come out anomalous community. What has that got to do with this? Despite all my philanthropic gestures that earned me that honor, you in connivance with Ono leads to us land that belongs to another family. Who said that? Did I get that you? Ah, no, 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 just, just keep that gun back, keep it. Look, look at what they have done to me already. Please don't shoot me. Don't shoot. Don't just shoot me. Oh, don't. Uh, uh, I, I cannot deny this. I can't. Hey! I cannot. Please. The boy whose father is the rightful owner of that land that was killed under your auspices eh? have harassed us out of the sight. We've been ejected beyond negotiation. Hey. Please. Eh? Engineer Valusi. I will make it up. I want you to please forgive me and don't know. Forgive us for whatever thing, whatever thing we've done uh, 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 to you people. Please, we will settle. Oh, let me just keep back that. Do you know that that same boy whom we killed his father longest time ago, many years ago, that the boy is after us. He won't tell me that. I tell him that. Keep quiet. Oh. What has that got to do with me, Your swindling Majesty? Hey. Oh. Please, Engineer Valusi, I, I, I don't want to die at this age. Please, please, oh, drop that gun. 
Oh, look, look at what they have done to me. Uh, this is your friend, you remember? So you are afraid to die at this age. Yet, you snatch the life out of that miserable man whom the gods have prepared the throne for. Whose posterity was to inherit the land that you leased to us. How wicked are you? You are no no best of the same feather. You don't deserve to leave. So this is the way I have ended up my life. You say your last prayer, if ever God will listen to your prayers. Hey, God! God, please, oh, listen to me. God, I am... God, I bow down, oh. I bow down before you. God. So this one is not an ordinary human being. Oh, God. <laughs> Engineer Balusi, you have not seen anything yet. You have not. This is Onima one. Yes, Onima. Huh? Isn't a book in cases? <laughs> so if I have not gone to a quarter, he come, he got a to cook myself properly. This idiot would have wasted me. Ah, as on your man can book in as that. Oh, give me see you in a bogey, give bogey. Is it not a bogey, bogey, bogey? I'm a puppy on you. You could get a cow. You could get a wifani. Okay, ah, a little woman, a gana, gana. Competition, you will win and you will receive an award. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're flattering me. Oh, no, I'm not. The food tastes so good. I swear, I've never tasted a food like this ever in my life. <laughs> yeah, who taught you how to cook like this? My mother. Your mother? I sure know that she taught you how to make yourself look so beautiful all the time. So, so, did you miss me? Of course. I missed you so much. So much. I tell you, all through my stay in the village, each time I close my eyes, I keep dreaming about you. Mm -hmm. I couldn't concentrate either on the party crowd. Just tell you. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, you will concentrate better now that I'm back. Mm -hmm. I missed you, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we having for dinner? I can't wait. Come on, come on, give it a chop. A man came in from the village two days ago. But you've been absent at the barrack ground. Why? Chuka! Can't you talk to your mentor? Did anybody pass on in the village? against my struggle. But even if you do, the battle will continue. 
Because a battle well begun is half conquered. Sir, the war must go on. The battle well begun. What war and battle are you referring to, if I may ask? After all, you told me you were traveling to the village to see the orphanage and not to fight a war. Yes, sir. So, so I said, but something happened and I had to react. Chuka, did you have an encounter of any sort with anybody in the village? Bitterness of hearts. Sir, those who killed my parents, I think it's time they get paid back in their own coins. And this is where I need your assistance. Sir, I need you to support me to complete this game of revenge, which I have smoothly. Started. So, Chuka, you mean you went home and went to war with the villagers? How dare you perform this illegal act? I will punish you for this. Sir, sir. I am Adiba Ikogo, representing If I Digo Age Grade, 25 to 27. I'm Wokerde, Ila Buchi Udoga Age Grade, aging 28 to 30. My name is uh, Etoniru Amuboga, of Nchekube Age Grade. I'm 31 to 33 years. I am Emera Onenko, representing Oganiru Age Grade. I am 32 to 34. My name is Nzenago Obidi. I'm representing Ophobi age grades, aging 41 to 45. Akabude Adichie of Akeka age grade, 37 to 39. As you all know, my name is Azuke Eji Okeke Onyekum, representing Umobo age grades, the leader of the youth in Akaba Autonomous Community. The chairman, Abala Nze, Ifana Acho, Ubudu, is not available as a result of illness. My brothers, we must not derail in deliberating over the issue of the day. Um, I am the because the as you all know, for quite some time now, Timor has visited the land. Things have never been the same again. Quite obvious. Barely 20 years now or more. Anarchy has been the order of the day. And no single day passes without tragedy visiting one home or the other. Why? This is because a man whom we so much trusted, men, women, old and young, betrayed us all. A highly respected person whom we least expected that kind of thing. A red cap chief for that matter. Oh no! Oh no! Is it that I behead you? Or I reduce you down to mere ashes? For nothing I waste an evil man like you than a shameful and a painful death. Appalling enough. Oh no! Who did not only connive with the S-wide 
hired a killer, banished bandits, and runaway drug addicts to kill honor whom the gods uh, chose to succeed Igwe and Ekwe. But went ahead and sold uh, his mass plot of lands to the white men. Arro Sacrilege. Honor was an upright man in all ramifications, but out of greed and desperation for money, Ono and his cohorts killed him. And since then, things have never been normal again, as was the case during the reign of Igwe and Ekwe. But one thing is clear that a fact can never be changed as far as nature is concerned. And that is nothing but nemesis. No secret is hidden forever. No secret whatsoever. Oh, no one on him. The thought that the gods can never expose their own origin. You know that. To cut the details of today's meeting very short, the gods have requested that we select the leader of each age grade. And here we are amongst us. A man shall be chosen by the gods to act as regent, to take over the vacant throne, which Igwe and Ekwe left behind. Since Onyuma's coronation was illegal and unholy until his son comes back. The gods urgently needs our attention at urging in a shrine. When shall that be? Maybe by this time tomorrow. Yes. That's an tomorrow. Yes. Yes. It's okay. It's all right. Tomorrow is all right by me, except that I may not be there. Uh, no problem. We can go without you. It's all right. We can go without you. Why is it taking the whole time to shower? Hmm? Why are you keeping me waiting? Hmm? I love you too. I love you more. Vicky? Yeah? There is something I've been meaning to tell you. Never mind. It's not. It's not serious. Um, maybe we can talk about it some other time. Hmm? <laughs> no. Hmm? I heard you were going to fight in your village with the military boys. Who told you that? 
I had it at the mess. At the mess? Oh. Well, uh, <clears throat> some miscreants wants to destroy my future. And I wouldn't let them. And the commandant agreed to send troops for you? Yes. I said it. I told you this man loves you so much. By agreeing to send troops to your village. Well, let's say he's, you know, favor. <laughs> uh, my luck. I'd rather go on my side. Hmm? I'll go with you then, since you're one now. You want to go with me? Mm -hmm. Well, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I think that would be nice. But um, it's only when the commander approves that. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's okay. I have a letter for you. A letter? Yeah. From who? I don't know. It was called out yesterday during the parade. You have it here? No, it's in my bag. Okay, okay. Get it. Get it. Mm. You said you heard a nice email last night. You heard me loud and clear. About what? About the Marcella call. Marcella, good morning. Good morning, Margaret. Um, Captain said you had a bad dream last night. Yes, Marcella. It was very horrible. That even when I woke up, I felt what I saw in the dream was about taking place. Hey. Is it all about what? And I, I hope hey. with prayers we can cancel it. I saw Chuka. Hi. Oh my Lord and my God. Comport yourself and tell him everything. I saw him marching into the village, accompanied by a large number of women. They were all dead in army apparel. Well armed. Looking war ready. They were trooping and marching in, in full force. With chariots so numerous for me to mention now. Then at the other hand, I saw another group of young village men with dangerous weapons. When they came to the battle line, hey! It was so disastrous. Many lost their lives. As I'm talking to you, I can see corpses of women and children littered all over the community. Especially at the premises of uh, the orphanage. Monsano, I think we have to pray for these orphans so that mayhem of any sort will not befall them. God forbid bad thing. You see, the devil is the son of darkness from time immemorial. He's always busy looking for where to cause confusion and who to devour. But I tell you with prayers, with prayers, the Blessed Virgin Mary will intercede for the orphans in Jesus' name. Amen. Monsano, this has gone beyond the prayer of Ekin and Maria, except you want the nightmare to come to pass. What? How dare you, Abigail? You, you are talking to the Monsano, man. Huh? I said that her Mary, full of grace, cannot solve the problem. It cannot solve this problem. Because I can see serious calamity befalling Akama village, even the religious ones. If serious warfare is not fought in earnest, I mean, dropping the chaplets and going into serious prayer that will force out sweat of blood coming out of our bodies and moving mountains. Please, 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 Monsano, I beg you to declare a three days compulsory prayer, which must be said collectively throughout the parishes and the diocese. Because this nightmare cannot be treated with a pinch of salt. I mean, it cannot be treated with a pinch of salt. I 
Alam wanya sabah. Hold it. Hmm? Hold it. <laughs> Let me see who will come and shoot that nonsense again. Huh? <laughs> oh no. Alam wanya sabah. <laughs> now I am beginning to respect you. Why, Why not? Hmm? If you use this, there's no way hmm. any bullet will penetrate your body. Oh no! Any bullet whatsoever. Yes. <laughs> My confidence have increased. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Yes, because I will not reign forever. Exactly. You see, eh? You don't know much experience I have. Eh? Mm -hmm. You don't know. When I was in Sabon de Rican, mm -hmm. this was what we used to prevent bullets from entering our bodies. Mm -hmm. Oh no, who himself? Allah wa ya There is nothing as good as guarding yourself with charms of the highest potency. I agree with you. From henceforth, mm. you can now checkmate all your enemies with this. And so shall it be. Oh no, only the remote control. <laughs> remote control. Is it the bogey the one? Ebe bogey. Is it not the bogey the bogey? Bogey the amagene. Bogey the abobo. Nobody will understand the dream better than I do. Obegeli, what do you mean disturbing our discussion? Are you out of your mind? I'm not and I'll never be. I told you, the height or the impending danger that was revealed to me in the dream it's not the one Hail Mary full of grace will solve. It needs a fervent prayer. And it will be done standing up. The kingdom at a time suffered violence. And violence taken it by force. Be wise all of you. Or we all watch the whole saga come to a reality. Abiyagiri. May God Almighty help your unbelief. Stay here hmm? and watch closely. Any movement on this track, open fire. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Stay here and go and join the men. Okay? Yes, Any movement, open fire. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? The network is really bad. Can you hear me, sir? Hello? Yeah, hello, Chuka. What's the situation report at the moment? Sir, so, well, at the moment, we are having a very big problem. What kind of problem? Do you need more soldiers to be deployed? No, 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 sir. No, no soldiers is not the issue. The problem is that those men have employed champs. What do you mean? Um, sir. So, what I mean is that we, right now we are confused. I don't know whether to go forward or to retreat. I don't. Will you shut up? Listen, Chuka, and tell others there with you. I need the heads of those two defaulters on my dining table tomorrow morning. Is that right? Yes, sir. Sir, but, but sir, it, it has not come to that. I, I was just trying to inform you of the challenge we are about to face. Then face it as a brave soldier you are, and conquer the battle or get dropped. Enjoy the sounds of the machine gun. Okay, sir.
must have been hardened. No way. Civilians to gun down my men. Vengeance must be administered. There must be a mission of vengeance. Ojingene, the ghost of our heroic past father. Those who asked me to summon before you are here. They have gathered to pay you tribute and answer the call as you've instructed me. Here are Obiemezie, the youngest, Adiba, Etoniru, Emera, Wokede, Nzenago, Akabude, and Azukeni, the leader. They are representatives of our youth and future leaders of our community. According to your words, you demanded and wish to choose one of them as the regent of Akama to take over the throne that Igwe and Ekwe left unoccupied many years. Pending when the late honor son will return from the north and receive that honor that is due to his father. Now arise, arise, O Jingene, and manifest your prowess. Prove me right before these eight men that you actually sent me on errand. Arise, O Jingene. Arise! <laughs> now, choose from the eight men. Choose your beloved one that you wish to be the regent of our Kama. Nero, get up. Get up. You have found favor before the gods, Ojingene. Ojingene has chosen you as the regent of Akama. Get up. Papa, we are going to
you are the regent. The temporary caretaker of the throne, or to the rightful owner, decided to take over. Your yeah, yeah, regency. Ojingene! Ojingene! I know. I feel like going with you. I, 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 I've grown so much by your side that anytime I'm not by your side, I, I feel as if the devil is going to take me. Uh, Curtis, don't bother yourself about my absence. I know how you feel about this, but there is absolutely nothing we can do about it. Um, you can go with me. More so now that the whole Reverend Fathers are on leave, with the exception of Father Jones, but you have to stay behind and help him prepare the pupil, the children, for their first Holy Communion and Sacrament of Confirmation. Please. I, I wish they had sent uh, these uh, seminaries on apostolic duty. I so told that I'll have time to. <laughs> the peace and joy of the Lord is all I leave with you and your wife, Obiadeli. I don't know, but it's not my wife, Monsaino. She, she, don't you see how she, she, she is behaving? She's not wishing the church or the community any good, but evil. Cactus, no, don't say a thing like this. Don't! Obiagiri is still your lovely wife. Despite the height of ignorance in her, all we owe her is to pray for God to assist her in her unbelief. Well, Marcelo, what about Colonel Otega? Suppose uh, he brings his army here to... For, for, to come and seek vengeance because of the man, the, the one of their soldiers that was killed. With God, all things are possible, very much possible. The God I worship will go ahead of me and touch his heart. Besides, he's loyal to me. Despite his fickle mindedness as a soldier, he has always been there to accept my words. He is loyal to me. Um, all the same, I pray that God alone will quench the burning fire in this community. I pray that he complies. Definitely he will. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Please. Do me this favor. Keep Father Jones company. I will. Okay? I will. Uh, let, let me see you after the time. Even Maria and her flight to the patronage cannot avoid the danger foretold in the dream. Kakis, we have to learn how to pray the fervent and violent way. Without violent and spiritual warfare, or no anonymous, they will run supreme and everlasting in the domain of inhumanity, insanity, suppression and, and lawlessness. Watch it. What I saw in the dream will come to in Akama. If the right prayer is not conducted the right way, even a uh, 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 Monsignor's visit to Kaduna will not, I said it will not change the stony heart of Konetega. The soldiers are coming back for, for retaliation. Even uh, 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 Monsignor's visit to Kaduna will not, I said it will not change the stony heart of Konetega. The soldiers are coming back for, for retaliation. I said the soldiers are coming back for retaliation. Bet me. I said bet me. <laughs> okay, okay. May the good Lord forgive your unbelief. Ekele Maria, give them my gracia. Yes, what? Your regency, it is a pity that ever since you became a regent, the elders have not been able to meet to deliberate on those issues not discussed. 
Um, honestly, Azukeni, it annoyed me on how we even avoided ourselves since the day we assembled at the Ojingene Shrine. At least we should have gathered together to discuss on how we are going to make one or two things better. Huh? What do you say? Um, your Regency, I know that the Council of Elders are very proud of you and your choice as the Regents of Akama, at least to occupy the throne which Igwe and Ekwe left vacuum. But one thing is about the throne before you ascended it is that Onowu connived with Onyema and killed the Eswa chief priest, Opoko, because he refused to lie against the gods and to collect bribe from them. The same court priest snatched life out of honor whom the gods loved so much. As that was not enough for him, he went and leased honor's land to Oyibo men with the accord that the allocation will be given to the widows and to the helpless children at the orphanage, which he has refused to share many years now. He coronated Onyema with a fake crown and gave a chieftaincy title of Oputo Obie to a stranger and Oyibo for that matter, which all of us here witnessed. And I was once bound out of this land and how he sneaked into this Akame again. Till today nobody knows. And how he uses the power of his dirty money to bring wish or no a conny man, a swindler. Who remain a chameleon to you and a way as a no. And then I think that is true. <laughs> um today. From here and now, with the power and the authority that is bestowed on me as the chief and the regent and the active royal father, I hereby declare that throne as illegal. Yes! yes. 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 Certainly, your yeah, regency. This secret enthronement is not recognized and therefore illegal. Yes! Privilege. Yes. Yes. Two prominent men they wasted to get there. The chief priest, I can imagine that. Oboko and Onna. And uh, it's about time, I suppose, we banish Onyeme again. What do you say? And his partner in crime. Yes. At least, they are rich and They are nothing but a disgrace to this land. Hmm. Um. Mazukeni and um, Odax, I want you people to prepare for the war ahead. Your Regency, the mission would have been easier when all alone they were sneaking, meandering, and roaming the villages, usually at night, searching for widows to take to their beds. And now, They've employed few ardent desperados as bodyguards. Did you say bodyguards? Yes. Oh, Regent, have you not heard? Each and every one of them is wearing deadly shams around his waist like bed. And with that, no knife, axe or bullet can arm or penetrate their skins. This is serious. Regent Tony. Yes. No matter the type of people they've hired to protect and secure them, no matter the type of automobile they came into this community with, the might of forging it must disempower them. Yes, okay, this is it, this is it. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm? Choy! Mbano! Mana, on wa ya on wa, on naba, bu bu a poe na azu. Okay. Onyema. I pity you and your people.
good evening, officer. Ah, welcome, sir. Thank you. I'm looking for the commandant, Colonel Tega Banco. Sir, it would be like a, a travel uh, yesterday, yesterday, sir. To where? Uh, it carries some uh, squad, uh, uh, where one cadet food, then we, 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 we yellow. Uh, go fight big war for their village, sir. And uh, those cadets, uh, those cadets, nine boys, sir. Do you know his name? Uh, yeah, it's like Chukuchu. Uh, that, okay, Chuka, Chuka. Uh, yes, sir, yes, yes sir. I understand. It's okay. Uh, did he tell you when he'll be coming back? Uh, no, sir. It's okay. I... I will be on my way. It's getting dark. Uh, but sir, uh, sir, excuse me. Uh, you know, you know, tell me your name, Mosaino. Ah, you're welcome, Masaino. With the peace of the Lord. And also with you. So how was your journey? Were you able to get him before he came back to Akama village? Katish, you can't believe that I wasted my time, energy, finance, and what have you, to travel to the north for the sake of Konertega, only to meet him absent. I got there to hear that he has traveled to Akama. Oh, dear. Because I know I learned from a very reliable source, from one of those communion candidates, the one that lives close to Onyima, that they have been here since yesterday evening. You don't mean it? Yes, and that one of the soldiers was killed by those uh, mystic boys. Jesus Christ of Nazareth! Not only that, Monsaino, the newly appointed regent has ordered that Onyima and Ono be caught alive. And if those boys catch them alive, they will be hanged at the market square. Wait a minute. Are you saying that the land warriors have joined the soldiers in fighting their causes? Um, not, not, not land warriors, not warriors per se, but brave boys selected from amongst the youngest age grade. They are volunteers and the voice of reason of this town. Curtis. I am now beginning to see that Obiadiri's dream is real. It is only God that will quench this burning fire. Ah. <laughs> so what of Father Jones? He is with the marriage course class at the CWO Hall. Oh my God. Is Obiadiri in? I wouldn't know. Maybe she's at the clinic. We need to find out, please. That I'm a spite It's a good fight It's a just fight I must make a mess I will take my revenge This is something that I must do It's a job. 